The role of analysis is uh, clearly key. Uh, getting together uh, the cohort, in other words, all the patients with uh, different types of asthma has been difficult. Uh, getting samples from them has also been difficult. But the challenge for uh, the work package that I'm leading is to actually take those samples and analyze them uh, to really high standards. So these analyses are critical because they'll provide us with all the information that we need to characterize better our patients with asthma. Actually, most of the technologies that we're using are very innovative. Uh, uh, they're truly cutting edge uh, technologies with uh, state of the art equipment, uh, so-called mass spectrometry, which uh, measures the mass, the weight of uh, compounds, proteins and lipids. Uh, and expresses them in relation to the charge of the molecules. These, this is extremely sophisticated and very complex uh, technology uh, that we're using. So that's innov innovative in its own right. Once we produced all the data, all the results, they have to be integrated. In other words, the, uh, the uh, computing, the statistical analysis really uh, demands of us to put some, some of the most sophisticated and most uh, uh, recent uh, uh, tools that uh, people have uh, developed uh, for this type of analysis. The beauty of Ubiopred is that all the centers are working extremely well together. Uh, and that is really the spirit of Ubiopred which has enabled us to deliver what is otherwise an extremely complex uh, program involving 20 centers, academic centers, 11 pharmaceutical companies. You can see the logistics of pulling that together. Ultimately, what we want to do is produce a so-called handprint of, of asthma. What does that mean? That means that the individual uh, fingerprints will be composed of the various biomarkers using one type of technology, in other words, one type of approach. And then you have to integrate that into a handprint. Probably our initial analysis suggests that there are several handprints of severe asthma. And what that will mean is that we will be able to then stratify this disease, which so far we've considered to be a single disease, but we now know that there are different strata of asthma, different types, which all have similar clinical characteristics. So patients wheeze, but the underlying pathology is very different, and that's what the handprints uh, will produce, and that requires integrating these enormous data sets uh, using very sophisticated, the, really the latest uh, uh, software that people and programs that people have developed. The analysis will never finish because the amount of data that we will uh, produce or that we are producing is staggering, truly staggering. So. Uh, to use the uh, favorite phrase uh, that scientists uh, use in the, such situations, we will be mining the data for many years to come. But our objective within UBiopred, uh, the immediate objective, is very clear. We will want to define asthma in a completely new way using these sets of biomarkers. And the objective of that is then to enable two things. In clinical development of new drugs, to be able to target uh, new drugs based on a set of criteria which are based on these biomarkers, so that you do not waste resources, indeed waste the patient's time, by putting the not completely right drugs uh, into uh, a, a patient population. And, and so hopefully that will enable us to uh, streamline uh, drug development. The second objective is to find some very simple, user-friendly uh, biomarkers that uh, perhaps you know colleagues uh, in primary care, our JPs, could uh, could use. Whether it's in exhaled breath, whether it's in a urine sample, can you imagine being able to uh, diagnose and to monitor asthma uh, by uh, simply getting the patient to pass some urine and and a, and a quick uh, dipstick? Wouldn't that be wonderful? The hopes uh, of UBiopred are actually very simple. It's to transform the lives of our patients. And how can we transform lives of our patients? Well, it's to treat them better, to enable the pharmaceutical industry to produce drugs more quickly. By doing so, the drugs will hopefully be cheaper. We want uh, to uh, 
increase the throughput of, of, of new drugs and make them cheaper. And by making them cheaper, we'll make them accessible to greater numbers of patients. That's the simple and very noble objective of Hubibrid.